Because that means Jesus is about to return for the second time. And when you hear me holler and repent, I'm not just up here playing games trying to start a church. I'm trying to tell you the voice he's put inside my heart. Amen. Repent, y'all. Turn to Jesus Christ. Come out of the mess. Amen. Because when he comes in those eastern clouds, one day you're going to realize, you know what? I should have listened. Mm -hmm. I should have listened. Oh, my goodness. Because they didn't listen. Many of them didn't listen. And they were destroyed in 70 AD. Now, John comes saying these things. Oh, I feel the mantle right now. And it says that's in the, it was written in the book of Isaiah the prophet. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough ways shall be made smooth. Uh -oh. Now he was talking to God's people. Keep this in mind. He was talking to who? God's Israel. People. He was shouting to Israel. He's talking now to his people. Mm -hmm. He's shouting to the church. Mm -hmm. Make his path straight, y'all. Mm -hmm. Everything that's crooked is going to be made straight. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going. Come on. He's trying to straighten you up. You're supposed to conform. Many people have not the conviction that they want to conform to the image of Christ, nor do they have the power to. Mm -hmm. The only way you have the power to conform to the image of Christ is quit cussing people out, quit staying in fornication, quit sleeping around, quit looking at stuff on the internet you should be looking at, quit doing all these sins that we all do. It's by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But you've got to have the conviction first to come out. <laughs> you've got to have the conviction to want to repent mm -hmm. to be saved. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I just... Mm. Woo, praise God. <laughs> every, every vow shall be filled, and every mountain shall be brought low. Uh -oh. That means everyone who's puffed up, mm -hmm. everyone who's puffed up in pride, who thinks they're somebody, they will be made low. Oh. He's going to take them down. Yes, sir. And everybody who thinks they're not even worthy to receive Jesus, he's going to bring up and say, no, I died for you to mm -hmm. receive you. Come on. I die for you to have dominion over your life. Sin should not have dominion over you. You should have dominion over it. That means you have power over doing that thing. That means you're not addicted. You're not addicted. I don't care what the 12 steps says. You're not addicted. <laughs> if you're in Christ Jesus, you have power. You have dominion. Praise God. Yes. Quit calling yourself something that you're not. Hmm. You're supposed to be a Christian. Right. Supposed to, all things are supposed to be new in your life. Hmm. We'll be brought back up. Verse 6, And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Mm. Then said he to the multitude who came forth to be baptized of him. Now these people came forth. They came to church that day. <laughs> they came to be baptized. <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. He said, I got somebody in the pew. Oh. Come on, man. They said, I'm going to be baptized. Uh -oh. Josh has been excited. So, okay, come on, brother. I'm going to be baptized. Uh -oh. Whoops. Mm. No. No. no, because the voice was in John's. If it was John's, John would have been excited just to have a follow. Oh, I got people. There's people following. Oh. The voice is not excited about following mm -hmm. because that's man's emotions. Mm -hmm. The voice said, Oh, generation of vipers, mm -hmm. who has warned you to flee from the wrath of God? Now, these people were coming to be baptized. <laughs> does that make sense? It sure does. Because God is going to shoot straight through. Uh -huh. Proverbs 21 <coughs> says, Oh, the righteous are bold as a lion. Right. Think about this. The Lord wants to make sure that you're really saved. Come on. He's not about counting numbers and filling the pews. Uh -huh. He's not about, oh my goodness, how many, how many people came to salvation this week? How many did y'all count and come down and get baptized? He's not about all that counting stuff. He's about the honest, true heart <coughs> of the individual. Amen. And he's saying, Church, you've been a brood of vipers. Do you know what vipers do? <laughs> Vipers strike out against one another. Mm. I know we don't do that in here. <laughs> Vipers hate one another. They're cold-blooded. They're cold-blooded creatures. Y'all ain't never seen that in church. Never. They, they inject poisonous venom. <laughs> they inject poisonous venom. A viper injects poisonous venom. Do you gossip? Do you backbite each other? Views? That's a viper. Yeah, that. You're injecting poisonous venom. Mm. Oh, you're striking out at one another. You know what else a viper will do? Uh -oh. They will kill each other to satisfy their appetite. They sure will. They will bite and devour one another, as it says in Galatians, that we should not do that. Paul warns us not to do it. But a viper will do that. That's exactly what's happened in the church as a whole. And now John's mantle, Elijah's mantle, is in the church now proclaiming, 
Make his path straight. Yeah. Stop you generation of vipers. Quit biting one another. Quit backbiting one another. Come quit on. injecting your venom. Quit killing one another in the pews. Come on. Mm -hmm. You say you're people of God. Quit killing one another. Come Hello. On. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know that people don't talk about me. I don't care. I'm telling you, I'm a voice. Come and come you're on. just a voice. That means you're dead. <laughs> don't matter what Daryl thinks. Don't matter what people say. Don't matter what my family says. I'm a voice crying in the wilderness. That's the manner. That's the manner me and you already feel in your hearts you're supposed to be doing. Mm. I don't know where or how, but God raises up a place for you to minister. Come on. God raises up that place, but you need to prepare and be prepared to do it. Maybe it's on a smaller level. Maybe it's just your household. Maybe it's your people. Maybe it's your children. I don't care if they're 40, 50 years old. If your children are out of order, you better call them to the task. You better tell the truth, man, because they're going to hell. Yes, yes. You say, oh, I don't want to offend them. I love my child. I want to have a relationship. But I don't care if they burn in hell after we're dead. I just don't want to fit them out. <laughs> then you don't believe in the Word of God. Come on. Amen. You don't believe in the Word of God. Oh. You don't believe in the Word of God. Mm. Because the Word of God said that's going to happen. Mm. And if you believe God's Word, it would be a grieving in your heart to say, y'all, that's wrong. Please come out of it. you got to be mean about it. Just say, come out of it. Because there's a hell fire coming. That's what John seen. Yeah. John wasn't playing games. He wasn't trying just to offend the people. He was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. But if we really don't believe that's going to happen anyway, that we're just going to live and get along and all hold hands and sing kumbaya. <laughs> kumbaya, my Lord, kumbaya. There's nothing wrong. Nobody's in sin. We're all going to heaven. The devil's going to be saved. Y'all yeah, right. better. I'm telling you now. There's not a whole lot of time left. Come on. Watch the signs, people. Come on. Look at the earthquakes, people. Come on. Look at what's happening out there in the comments going on. There's some things in outer space happening right now that you don't even know about Come because on. the media is blacked out about it. That's right. Mm -hmm. In September, you'll see. Right. There's things coming, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's time to get right before God. Mm -hmm. It's not time to play games and play church. It's time. Like John wasn't playing church. That's why John wasn't in the church. He was in the wilderness crying out there by the river. Said, y'all want to get real? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Yeah. That, that's the next verse. It said, no, verse 8, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance. And begin not to say within yourselves, we as Abraham's our father. For I say unto you that God is able to of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. We're Christians. I don't know who Daryl's talking to. He's not talking to me. I've been in church 30 years. I've been doing good for two years. I know he's not talking to me. Man, God is able to raise up children out of the stones outside. Mm -hmm. This time for us to get right in our heart.